are three things that you want to consider if you are trying to slay with a big belay. And that's number one, you cute. Two, lines will make or break the way an outfit looks on your body. And number three, you have got to dump the frump. Bigger size clothing is actually going to do the opposite of what you intended to do. And in this video, we are gonna go over some of the best outfits that you can wear this summer to camouflage a big ballet. Let go. So the first point, you being cute, we already established that. That is very self-explanatory. You need to think it, feel Feel it and know it <laughs> because that is the most important part of you know having that confidence to rock your look okay so we already know that the second thing them lines we talk about lines a lot on this channel when it comes to putting outfits together things that are gonna be able to make you look your best and feel your best because they are so important and where they are in relation to things on your body is gonna make or break your look so vertical lines they lengthen and lean horizontal lines shorten and widen and diagonal lines divide and if you want to dress better and then in turn feel better you have got to know where to put them lines in your outfit so easy the easy stuff first when it comes to camouflaging a bigger belly the line that you're probably going to want to avoid at the belly area is gonna be a horizontal line because those horizontal lines do tend to shorten and widen but also keep in mind that no lines can also have a similar effect on drawing attention. It's like having, it ain't no lines, but it's almost like the arrows are like pointing towards like a marquee, like, ha ha, look at that, look at that, look at that. Now, because you guys liked my maxi dress video with all the visuals so much, I tried to hopefully be able to visual lies you know the points i'm trying to make in here this time we're using pictures because i came across a website well actually they came across me they wanted to send me some clothes and as i was looking to see all right what y'all got what y'all got what y'all got i noticed that they used models that are two different sizes to model the clothing so one is someone who's more of a plus size and then someone who's more of a straight size but it helped me to illustrate the points in this video so this first dress this is a cute dress the color the fabric the cut it's really really cute however if you have a bigger belly we can do better than this because look at how this dress has a similar vibe but look at the difference with what the tummy area looks like with this dress versus this dress now the reason why and it has nothing to do with the length it just so happens that the more flattering dress happened to have a longer length but what's actually going on here the diagonal lines that are being created at the tummy area by the ruching of this dress is dividing that tummy area so it makes it look more flattering it's not as apparent it's more forgiving I feel like it's a much better look and this is the same model like I feel like she comes alive in the second dress so we gonna keep driving the point home we, this, this is just a driving the point home ass video here's another option that you might gravitate towards now it is a darker color and it does have sequins for illustration purposes I think the dress might come in white as well too and you can wear sequins in the summer obviously however this type of dress might be something that if you have a bigger belly that you might gravitate towards because you're like okay it's not clinging to my belly I'm gonna feel comfortable I could move around and you know yada 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 however I get that you don't want the fabric clinging to you and whatnot and you know yada 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 however this dress adds visual bulk to your frame like yeah you're not noticing the belly because this so much else, so much material and everything else that is vying for attention as well. This type of dress is not gonna do you justice, bestie. And we want to spend our coins on things that are gonna make us look and feel amazing. Not just like, all right, I put this on, I guess I'm, you know, I guess I'm ready. No, we wanna be like, I'm ready. Almost fell, but that's the passion I've got for y'all. Anyway, let me show you something that would be a better fix. Now this fix is going to, you know, kind of throw you for a loop because the fix is actually a horizontal line, but stay with me now because there are a couple of elements that fix this here, okay? Now, what makes this work? Like I said, there are a couple of working elements in here. So one, you have that deep V that is created by the zip and you can, of course, you know, adjust that because, you know, depending on how much you zip it up or zip it down, that V kind of draws the attention away from the midsection there, right? I mean, what I got on here is some workout shorts because I just came from Stretch Lab and then I threw this shirt on to film because I wasn't planning on, you know, 
<laughs> backing up. But that deep V does help to draw the attention, the eye away from the midsection. Now, of course, the belt that's right there does kind of bring the eye right back into that area. However, the belt is doing a good job, especially when you contrast it more of the t-shirt dress. The belt is doing a good job of creating, or it's either emphasizing the waist, if you have a natural cinched in waist, or it's giving the illusion of a cinched in waist if you don't have a naturally cinched in waist. And the other working part of this that's making it more flattering is the slight A-line shape of the dress. If the dress did not have that A-line there, it would just kind of go straight up and down. And then your bigger tummy, if you're trying to camouflage that bigger tummy and your hips, they kind of compete for attention. So that A-line kind of balances the hips so that you look more balanced. So it's the three parts. It's the deep V, it's the waist created by the belt, and then the slight A-line. Look at the difference between the two. Isn't this the same model? It's the same model. Probably even shot on the same day. So you can't say like, oh, well, she weighed a little less in one picture and weighed a little more in the other. I'm pretty sure this was taken on the same day. Now, let me give you another example to help emphasize this as well. So what makes this work? First of all, I love that this is white because a lot of times people think that you have to wear darker colors in order to have things look more flattering on you. That couldn't be the farthest from the truth because look at this white dress. There is the emphasis on the waistline with the cinch there at the waist, or it's creating the illusion of a waist if you don't happen to have a very cinched waist. Then you have the diagonal lines that are created by the ruching that helps to divide, which is also going to help to slim the belly area. And then you have the bit of a fit and flare action that is going to help to balance it all out. Now, look at how this white dress look compares to this white dress look. Now, this doesn't cut into the midsection, you know, this second look, it doesn't cut into the midsection and it looks really comfy. And then, you know, you got some interest here with the asymmetrical neckline and then the uh, tie there. It looks kind of comfy and cool, right? But it's not, is it doing the most for you that it could? When you compare it to the other white dress, this is what I'm hoping, right? Cause it's hard for me to have all of the visuals in, but I'm hoping that you can take what I'm putting here and translate it to other items. Because I'm not saying that you have to have like this long sleeve dress and it has to be this material or whatever. I'm just kind of using that as an example. I just want you to see what the lines are doing, the movement of the lines, and how it makes the midsection look, as opposed to how it looks where that very flowy white dress where there is no, there ain't, ain't no lines other than the line up here, but your stomach ain't up here. And again, it's the same model. They, they switched this, the straight size models up, but I believe that's, that's the same model, right? Yeah, that's the same model. The asymmetrical dress added some visual bulk to her frame that the other dress isn't doing because of the where the lines are created and the movement of the those lines. And by the way, all of these looks that I'm showing up here will be linked in the description box in case you were interested. Like I said before, this site reached out to me. Their PR reached out to me. They asked me if I wanted to pick out some clothes. And I was like, hell yeah, I want to pick out some clothes. But then I also noticed that like, oh shoot, this would be a good imagery to use for this video. It worked out twice. And also I'm, I'm hoping that these the, the visuals are helping you to see what it is that I'm putting down. I think they are, but you know, I'm biased, but y'all let me know if you find this to be helpful. Let me know in the comments. Now, I I also wanted to show you how you can wear something with cutouts or even a crop and still be able to camouflage a bigger belly because I feel like I, I've recently realized that I could feel people's energy and although like we're not, clearly not in the same room together you know but I feel like sometimes I could feel somebody thinking something right and I feel like when you're for some of you because not everybody thinks like this I feel like some people feel that when their body is not where they want it to be that somehow you have to kind of like punish it and punish yourself and not dress cute, not like be confident and flaunted. And that's a, that's a lie. <laughs> Even when you're not where you want to be with your body, there are still ways to dress and look cute and feel confident and don't be punishing yourself. Okay. Promise. Pinky swear. Cause I'm about to show you something. And you know, some of y'all might be like, Oh my God, cut out a crop top. Uh, but let me, let me show you. So look at this dress. Now it's beautiful color, beautiful cut. But once again, we can do better. Like it's, it's like, remember what I said? No lines. There is a, a slight ruching going on with this dress, but not really, not like the more structured kind of ruching that we would need to kind of like camouflage the belly area. And this dress kind of adds like a little visual bulk to 
the frame. But now look at what this dress does. Now again, this is the same model. I think they kind of switched up on us with the straight size model, but the, the curved model, that's the same, that's the same woman, probably on the same day as well too. You know what's kind of cool too? They slipped her hair back and slicking her hair back even added more to the point that we trying to make with this look too. But anyway, don't get caught up on the fact that this dress is in black, because again, I don't want you to think that you have to wear darker colors in order to, for things to be more flattering and to camouflage certain areas. I couldn't be further from the truth. This dress actually comes in white and I think pink and cream and brown or it'll be linked so you can see what colors it comes in. But the only picture that they had with the curve model was with her wearing it in black. Now, I know we keep kind of focusing on the curve model. I don't want you to think that just because it's a curve model that all of a sudden that means that, oh yeah, of course they gotta have a bigger belly. Nah, it's just that they keep switching up the straight size models on me and this is the easier visual. But you know, obviously you can be skinny with a bigger belly and you can be bigger size, like a plus size, and have a flat belly. But anyway, she looks more balanced in this dress with a cutout than she did in that purple dress. You see it, right? There's something about that little sliver of skin. And for a lot of people, even when you are at like your most bloated, that little sliver of skin that's like right here, it's usually like, you're like, oh, I don't mind showing that. Just give them a little illusion, right? And then what makes this work is that there is a little bit of ruching going on at at the belly area that kind of helps to camouflage. But really I think what's helping this look is that V, it's drawing the attention away from the midsection. Now, here's an example that darker colors are not always going to hit like you think they, they go into, cause darker colors are nice. I'm not saying don't wear darker colors, but don't think that you can only wear, you only have to wear darker colors. Cause if you check out my color video where you can find out how to dress for your, you know, your natural colors and look good in color and whatnot, you'll know that some some color palettes, the darker colors might wash you out. So look at this and let's contrast it with this white look. Now, some people might be like, oh, you know, if you're big and you're trying to camouflage something and you have a big belly, don't wear white because it's gonna draw attention. You see the difference? You see it? I, hopefully I'm not blocking the difference. <laughs> I, I don't know where I, I need to stand so my editor could put the pictures up on the video. Look at this difference. So this is a two piece skirt set, which kind of calls back to one of the things I was talking about in my maxi dress, how to look like a baddie in your maxi dress video, where I said that sometimes you may want to not literally break it up. Instead of getting a maxi, maybe you get a two piece skirt set. You might be able to better play to your proportion. So this, the skirt, has got those diagonal ruching lines, which are dividing and slimming the belly area. Like, I mean, come on, you see the difference here? Now, make sure you also check out my video on Summer's Most Flattering Short Silhouette, because then I feel like that kind of rounds out this video too, so you can have some more outfit options. But although we showed a lot of dresses and skirts and things like that in this video, you can also use the same concept when it comes to other pieces. First of all, you need to know that you are cute. You need to know it, you need to feel it, right? Right? Second, you need to watch out for them lines. And third, you need to dump the frump. Now, let me tell you something. I want to get a head start on fall fashion content. So I need y'all to let me know what are your biggest pain points when it comes to getting dressed for the fall? Is it sweaters? Is it uh, boots? Is it coats, jackets? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna look at the comments and get some ideas to kind of get you guys situated for fall. I wanted to get fall fashion in a little early. Plus, I wanted to to take a little bit of a summer hiatus because you know it kind of helps me to refresh and I think I might want to look at different ways of filming maybe you know get some different equipment or something like that I don't know I, I gotta see how I feel during my little hiatus however I may not be on YouTube for a little bit but I will be elsewhere on the internet so if you miss me you can find me I actually have two other YouTube channels style and beauty doctor is my skincare and aging channel we have a lot of fun over there there are a lot of topics about aging information information on starting a skincare routine, even body skin, acne, filler, laser hair removal. We talk about all of that stuff over there. And then I also have a lifestyle channel, Life with Danielle, where I do vlogs and you can see my day to day. Got a couple of cooking videos up on there. You can also follow me on Instagram. I just started a fashion Instagram. It's Danielle Gray. I'll link it in the description box. Make sure you follow me there. Now, in the meantime, you can learn how to love your swimsuits even more by checking out this video right here where I show you some ways in which that I style swimsuits in order to look and feel amazing in them. Click on the video here and I'll see you there.